Okay, the question was, how do you extract video and audio from a DVD so that you can get it in its best quality or whatever the quality is on the DVD? Um, the answer is, I'm going to use um, a program called X Media Recode. That's X M E D I A Recode R E C O D E, and you can find that for free online. I've um, <clears throat> if you need to uh, let me know and I can send you the link. Here's X Media Recode. I'm gonna run that app. Okay. When it starts, um, this button selected. You have to have a DVD in your drive. So once the DVD is in your drive, close whatever automatically opens. In my case, it'll be Windows Media Player. We'll open, just close that. And then uh, click this button. That will ask you where you want to look for DVD. And, and in my case, there's only one drive. If you have more than one drive, you'll have to select the one here. Hit open. It does the analysis and it finds out what's on that disk. What's on that disk is um, MPEG-2 files that are 29.97 frames per second at 720 pixels wide by 480 pixels tall. And it uses an audio codec of AC3 at 256 kilobits per second, 48,000 hertz, two channel sound. That's standard, um, I believe, for DVDs, uh, so you should see something similar. Now you could select all the files by clicking one, hitting your shift key, and clicking the top one, then hitting add job. Or you could select just the one that you want if you know which chapter that is that you're trying to grab. And then just select that one or hold control down and select several. Um, I'm just wanting that one because it's short. <clears throat> I'm going to hit add job. And then that's going to add it to my jobs folder. Now the video settings and everything were already set up. So I'm going to go over that really quick. I'm going to remove that job. And then I'm going to go back to the format tab. Now when this thing first starts, it will have some format that will end up being uh, nothing like what you're trying to record. Because you want to match this. Get it as close as possible. So go to your format tab. Pull down your profile and then choose custom and then change your format to MPEG-2 because that matches MPEG-2 right here on your chapter and then uh, go down using your scroll bar here to the audio codec and we'll choose AC3 because that's what is in the file, the original file and we'll go with that and uh, let's see I think everything else we just leave to default. We want to make sure that our audio and video is synchronized. Now we go to jobs. There's nothing there. So I select the chapter that I want to process. I hit add job. That appears. Tells me how big it's going to be. A little over 100 meg. And then I'm going to hit encode. What well, First I want to make sure my destination folder is set. Uh, so you hit browse and then you go to wherever you're going to put it. You could put it on your desktop or you know wherever you're doing your video work. I've put it in the temp folder. Hit OK. And then hit encode. Now it's going to begin encoding the file to my destination folder. And if we go and open that folder, we can see that it is in the process of building this title 051 MPEG file which is what it's showing you right here but I've already done this so I'm going to stop it see this is going to take at least eight minutes maybe a little less maybe a little more and it's only a three minute file a three minute video so you can see that processing these things takes a little longer than you'd expect uh, it can be about the time that the uh, video is or it can be much longer and that so you just have to walk away sometimes if it's a full DVD it could take a few hours to process so you would just click uh, shut down computer when finished and make sure you've got everything else shut down and then walk away and when you get back the next day uh, your computer will be shut down but this file will be finished okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna hit uh, cancel because I don't need to do that and then once I've got it in my folder I'm gonna hit open 
and you can see there's the one I made before and double click it to open it in Windows Media Player and there it is so that's been extracted from the DVD and the quality is going to depend mostly on how it was encoded into the DVD so um, the quality might not be too good if I zoom in on this see video size go full screen on it you can see there's degradation around the edges and everything because it's a DVD video and they have usually been compressed at some level okay so that's it that's pretty much all there is to it to get the video and audio off of a DVD it's really not complicated um, but it does require some time and a cool little application called X media recode so try that out. Later.